Three, two, one, and we're live. Welcome back to Love Project, guys. As always, I'm your host, James Robertson. This is episode 30. Don't forget, if you like our content, why not press the subscribe button above? Where's it at? There it is. And never miss another episode. Right, back to tonight's show. We've got a very special guest on the show. He's been on previously, but there's so much going on in the world, we thought we'd have him back on. There's so much to chat about. So without further ado, please welcome to the show, best-selling author, Mr. Carl Vernon. How are you Hello. doing? Hello. Hello. Uh, how, how are you? Uh, I'm very well, thank you. How, how are you? Uh, excellent, thank you very much. <laughs> so it's it's show number 30, is it? Yes, yes. Fantastic. That's gone pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you, did you have to... To, did you have to get rid of the song? No, I just I just thought I'd because obviously you know once you get to the point where you want to try and monetize you want to try and monetize the channel I'm, I'm going to get claims left right and center from it you know and it was because I, I was going to say to you they released it didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been you've been banging out this tune and believe me you know it's it's a it's a bloody good tune. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah. no no wonder you grabbed hold of that one. So it must have been royalty free or what have you previously. Yeah, and then they decided to release it. Yeah, so it's getting claims left, right, and centre. So it's so you it, don't you don't want any of that now, do you? No. Well, <laughs> uh, we've got if we, we've got to watch what we're saying tonight as well. If we if we talk about any kind of um, diseases out there or anything like that, because you know you, we've already got two strikes pending against the channel so they're just looking for any two, t- two strikes pending well two strikes two strikes that i've already got then in fact you've already got well well, well done <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's not a badge of honor but you know um, well done what what do you, do you actually go out live is, is, is it live now no we're not actually live. i just said that for effect <laughs> ah, you see, we're catching you out again. I caught you out. With, I caught you out with a beard last yeah, time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I, then I, I've noticed that it is still, still, still nicely shaded darker, right? So was, you're still, still clearly doing it. You obviously haven't seen the warning signs. Oh, listen about. Go on. Listen, I'm, I'm like for all the things that I spout online. I'm still eating McDonald's. I still drink alcohol. <laughs> I've still, I've still got fluoride in my toothpaste, so you know I'm a bit of a hypocrite, but that's my choice anyway. You know what? I've I've actually got so much better with with, with a lot of that stuff. I have I don't drink tap water. Um, I I have a, a non-fluoridated toothpaste. I haven't touched McDonald's in years. And yeah. what was the other one? Drink alcohol. Kin- yeah, no, you know look. look Every now, you, what what happens is is that you go around the supermarket aisles as you become more aware. And yeah. I'm going around the supermarket aisles, and I'm like, "You ain't gonna get me with that shit. You're not. <laughs> you're not getting me with that shit. Ah, fuck. You, you are gonna get me with that. <laughs> and it's and it's, it's and it's, it's typically alcohol or or, or, or red wine or something like that. It's it's hard, right? It's hard. When you think about. Unless you're going to grow your own food. This is how they've sounded. Look, 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 what we're seeing is the ramifications of precisely what we're talking about here, James. And that is very simple. And that is that they they own the game. They run the game. They own every freaking element of it. Yeah. They own the food. They own the drink. They own the environment. They own the money. They own the whole shebang. Yeah. Good luck trying to navigate your way around the construct without in some way being yeah. ensnared into it in some way or another this is just how it is it's just how it is and it's, it, um yeah it's it, it, it's, it's hard. gonna get you yeah yeah right there's listen there's so much there's lots of things have changed since the last time we spoke there's lots of but things that are very relevant at the minute i think we'd still we, should we start off with mrs the prime, the prime minister herself, and the shambles that's going on <laughs> in the media and in, in government right now. What's what's your thoughts of, of everything that's going on right now? Is it just another distraction? What what is happening? I can't. I just know what. I can't have serious conversations around <laughs> questions about government. <laughs> <laughs> James, what what are you talking about, mate? But what, but what I can't is... have a serious conversation. <laughs> 
about these about these people, these pawns that are yeah. just maybe a step or two above us as pawns. Yeah, yeah. In regards to the grander game, I, 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 are you expecting me to have a serious freaking conversation <laughs> about this stuff? Like, oh, oh, you know, like political commentators, right? I mean, <laughs> oh, the, the, they're doing such a shambolic job. Oh. No, 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 no. But, like, like, come on. Like, but, but what I, is I it, get though? The fact, what is it? What, what is, no, what is I this get, I get the fact, the whole game, right, from start to finish, uh, uh, with each element, with each level, with each step, with each person, it, it, it's it's fully rigged. But like any game, when there are so many players in play and so many factors at play, there are going to be variations. What I'm saying here is, is that you can rig the game hard. You can you can plan, but there'll, there'll be certain things that might happen you're not expecting. And and as part of this game, that might be what, what has happened recently with some of these people that have come in and they've tried to do this with this money and that money. And, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, hey, that, that all needs to change. And then this guy, Jeremy Hunt, Mr. Popular, comes from nowhere, <laughs> comes in, cha- changes it all. Yeah. Just so happens that maybe he's like, you know, busy mates with, with, with the people, the, the changes that he wants to take place. You know, it's all tick, tick, tick for for a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So the rumours are, of course, he's come in and he's running the show. Truss ain't going to be about for much longer. Rishi Sunak... Uh, again, I'm 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 just doing this to try and have a, a, a relatively normal conversation, not knowing in the back of my mind that you know the game is rigged hard. Yeah. But Rishi Sunak, I was surprised that he didn't win anyway, because he's he is the agenda's wet dream. You know, yeah. when it comes yeah. to um, digital currencies and yeah. the general agenda. Obviously, Jeremy Hunt is 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 your lockdown fanatic, your your mandate fanatic. So yeah. you know he's he's all of that too. Um, so in regards to having a trying to have a normal conversation, if we were going to do politics, you know, let's have a good old <laughs> chat about politics. Now, if any if anything comes up like that, that those rare occasions where I actually will see other people. <laughs> and uh, I'm not either being a miserable git or I, I, I'm going through a phase of absolutely fucking despising people. <laughs> Those occasions where I might have like a, a dinner party or something like that. There are there, and have been even recently occasions where politics comes up and, 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 and I don't mind some I, like I just find myself just. I'm either I either have to go two ways. One way is to just say, "We do, we just shut the fuck up. <laughs> we we just shut up." Do you know how much fucking shite you're spewing out? And and most of it is just shite that you've just heard on the fucking TV, the BBC, <laughs> or these people have just been telling you, and you're recycling it, thinking that you are Mister Intelligent, right? That's one way. And what I've tended to do, and I have done that previously, but then I tend to find that I don't know why, but there tends to be a bit of friction. <laughs> <laughs> it, it 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 tends to you know bring about a wee bit of friction. Um, so what I, what what I try and do now um, a little bit more so is just kind of go a little bit more quiet. You know, I, I, don't, I don't mind doing that at times. I did it throughout my childhood and stuff too. So it's, it's, it's quite a, you know, I can, I can do that. It can be quite a natural thing to just kind of find the shell and, and just kind of, you know, I've got the color for it tonight as well. Yeah. Find yeah. a shell, kind of crawl into it and just be like, I'll let you finish talking until you, you stop talking so much bollocks, perhaps. Um, and, um, you know, maybe we can talk about, um, even better things like, um, like, l- like space. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that thing that they shot out. You know, to hit that big meteor. <laughs> did you see that shit? I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy but, fuck! By by the way, by the way, but, 
Who That's was it that said it looks so fake it's real? Elon or Musk. Or Elon, Elon, that, Musk. Elon, Elon Musk. Elon Musk said that, didn't he? he did. Elon Musk. It looks so fake it has to be real. Or, or some words to that effect. Uh, no, no. It just looked fucking shit. <laughs> and, and you know what? It's like, oh, my word. And I love I love a profound conversation. I do, uh, you know, I do like to, I don't like small talk. I like to, if I'm, you know, have a dinner party or what have you, or yeah. see people, um, you know, I like I like to, you know, just have, if I'm going to do it, have just a little bit more of a profound conversation. This may be something that's actually really worthwhile talking about, but yeah. I'm not judging people, James, but it's rare. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not putting myself on a, on a, on a soapbox, you know, um, there's many more super intelligent people than, than I am and will ever be. But, um, I do, I do, if I don't like small talk and things like politics tends to come up like the weather and, you know, like the queue at the post office and oh, yeah. trust, you know, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do yeah. it. it, it you know, it's not nothing is what it appears. The game is rigged. Yeah, the strings are being pulled from places that definitely ain't what we're being told. Yeah, I just, and, uh, I just, I just wondered. Maybe what, that answers your question. No, I was just wondering. By obviously, we know we know it's all rigged anyway. But it's a pantomime. They're all part of the same cult. But I was just wondering. But why? Why now? What's this all about? What, what kind of what would? <laughs> It's just one distraction after another, isn't it? It's just this, this one crisis. Limited time, my friend. Limited time. Yeah. Um, like, we've just literally been through a, a phase, years of um, literally being stripped away uh, of of pretty much everything we knew in relation to the freedom that we thought we had. Yeah. yeah. Um, and did have, you know, we, we've always been slaves, We've always yeah. been part of this this construct yeah. and matrix. We've always been slaves. Um, but, you know, when I look back to the 80s, for example, when I was a kid in the 80s, maybe more relevant 90s because I've got more memories 90s wise. But when I think back to the 90s compared to today, the difference is, of course, there are fundamental differences in regards to technology, Internet and stuff like that. But but fundamentally, people were more free. It's I know it was different again. It's in you know demographics and and uh, and 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 you, uh, depending on which which country you live in as well, you you got vastly different experiences. So geography plays its part too. But brought up England, UK, you know, there's always been a certain level of democracy if you like or certainly a view of having a form of democracy and and that has been stripped to the bone yeah it's been brutal it's been it's been ripped it's been ripped apart the rule books have been ripped apart they've come along and said you know we're coming back for this 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 and this and that's happened over years and now we're still feeling the psychological ramifications of all of those actions and you can only hold people in a certain state of mind for 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 for, for a period of time mm -hmm. before they then start questioning, before they then start thinking, hang on a minute, it, what 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 might be going on here? It's a little bit like an abusive relationship. You know, yeah. Somebody might start questioning after a while, you know, <clears throat> maybe that fourth or fifth punch <laughs> in in the face. You know, hang on a minute, you know, maybe maybe. May Maybe he's not the, the grand fella he's telling me he is, right? <laughs> so, you know, there's always this period of time where, you know, abusers and people like that, that, that they have to operate within a certain period of time to be effective. And, um, you know, you ask the question, why? It's the most important question of all. There's limited time um, in regards to opportunity. And, yeah. uh, it, it, and if you were the people limited people pulling the strings and you wanted to be able to continue that, then I'm sure that, that would be the way that yeah. you would view it. Yeah. I think, I think you're completely right when you say we've always been slaves. This matrix was built to enslave our minds and our bodies. But I think in, in this, certainly when I grew up, born in the seventies, grew, lived through the eighties and appreciated nineties music. <laughs> We at least had the illusion of freedom, right? But now, now it just seems that they're actually—it's just—it's all 
in plain sight that that they even you know they're writing. You got Klaus Schwab, the most like I said last time we spoke, like a total cliched Bond movie, stroking his little white pussy there. You will own nothing, as you will be happy. Sorry, that's a terrible accent, by the way. Um, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. I, un- I understood. I understood. <laughs> I understood the connotations. Eat the bugs. Yeah, eat the bugs. Eat the bugs. Eat bugs. Eat the bugs. Yeah, yeah. No, so I don't probably... know why. I, I don't know why people have got a problem with Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> but they're just openly he's writing books that they're talking about it you know this uh, uh, this is what i mean why have people why people got a problem this dude <laughs> yeah i mean why why wouldn't anybody if invited to go you know for dinner with, with klaus why wouldn't anybody take up such an invitation wouldn't that just be absolutely fucking thrilling <laughs> to go to like dinner or lunch with klaus Oh. Imagine, imagine the conversation. Imagine, imagine that. You know, of, of course, it would never happen. I'll tell you why it'd never happen. Of course, it wouldn't happen because he wouldn't associate with the likes of you, James. Oh, of course, right? of course. Because clearly, in his in regards to his forum, he's only got the time for <laughs> for people for people who can actually, I don't know, make or bankrupt entire countries. You, you know, and sort of wield that sort of level of yeah. of, of influence, yeah. and it seems through his forum, he's he's only really got time for people like that. So I don't know whether you were for, for, were going for something like that, James, a bit of dinner with Klaus, but I, I think mean, I think you're going to be disappointed. I mean, probably not, probably not. And you got you know you get the likes. Of, obviously, he's talking about real. The, the, you got the likes of Bill Gates buying all this. Farmland. Another nice fella. By all this another, far- yeah. another misunderstood fella. <laughs> you know, I don't understand why people have got a problem with Billy. Now, Billy, right? He's, you know, he's a philanthropist. <laughs> yeah? I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Philanthropist. 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 Yeah? yeah. Look, let's, let's just keep it simple. He's just a guy who wants to do everybody good. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Sure. If that ain't sure. if that ain't clear by now, I you know why people have got a problem with this guy. The fact that you know he's you know he, he's he's put himself in in fundamental places when it comes to the literal fundamentals of of people being able to live their lives, their health, food, uh, you know, farmland, and he's put himself in that position. You know, because he cares about people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but why? I mean, why, why? surely he could just um, feed all the hungry and solve all homelessness with just buying people. You, you sound, you yeah. sounding like Miss Fucking World now, James. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, I mean, come on. Like, um, of course, of course. You know, let, let's do a little bit of Miss World, shall we? Why not? You know, I, I hope for world peace. It's funny, isn't it? Because I don't know what the raw calculations are, but let's say, you know, the amount of money being filtered into the likes of Ukraine, if that was actually used um, for fundamental resource and structure globally, you know, yeah, the, the yeah. level of money that we're talking about, yeah, it could make fundamental differences. But then you shout out, look again, James, unfortunately, and I'll tell you why because the people shifting all that money, um, uh, uh, solving things like hunger uh, and problems globally, no money in it. No money in it. Yeah, it's boring. It, you know, it's like, uh, why, why am I, I going to feed these people and, and educate these people and, and do all that? That's, that's going to make them self-sufficient. <laughs> yeah they're, they're not going to need my shit anymore yeah yeah so, so it's like what you want me to spend billions towards that fuck off <laughs> cost cost of living crisis grandma can't put grandma's going to freeze to death this year um but we can but we can send billions to ukraine for weapons yeah we i don't think fun. i don't think grandma's going to freeze to death this year i don't think so i don't um Call me optimistic. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know. I mean, have you not seen the warnings about blackouts? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It'll just be th- for three hours. Pe- people, 
people on uh, ventilators will be exempt. <laughs> Again, do you know what? I, I, I have seen the latest on this. Like, is weekdays only on cold days? Um, blackouts between on four cold and, days. and seven or so. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, on on cold days as well. Like, what, what the fuck? Sorry, but, but no, no, no. Look, I think the retro cold days only only on them really brutal fucking cold days. They're really gonna get you. Um, <laughs> Weekdays when everybody's at home, you know, after work, you know, when they're really fucked off, you know, when they've come home, they've had a shit day at work, you know, the, they're all right though because they're a little bit better off because the, the lecky was allowed on in the office, but now they've had a, you know, they had a stressful client come home, now they've got to keep the fucking lights out, peak times. I tell you what, because again, look, look, look it, it's with the media. It's always a rhetoric. It's always a narrative. Oh, yeah. And, 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 you know, they kind of skip past the details, you know, <laughs> it's all, always straight in with, with clickbait. And, and it could be, you know, something like, I don't know, you know, I'm just speculating myself, but it could mean something like turning off the street lights, you know, or, or something like that. I don't know. Um, which is bad enough. Don't get me wrong. The fact that we're even talking about, doing this type of stuff which says a couple of things to me the main one is that as i've been saying the game's rigged hard and we're not in charge yeah um and to even get to this stage where people are paying eye-watering tax and 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 council tax and crazy money to then basically be told <laughs> go fuck yourselves turn your <laughs> lights out type stuff it's it's nothing short of mental yeah, but 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 at the same time, and and you know you call this optimism too, perhaps, but they ain't going to be switching people's internet off. No, right? Ain't going to be doing that shit. So so if people are particularly worried about that sort of stuff, <clears throat> don't be. Right? They ain't switching your internet off, right? Because they've got to be fucking on you twenty four seven, motherfucker. Yeah. And how they're going to do that? Very simply, you know, they they can't connect to people when they're in the middle of the wilderness, you know, sitting in a field yeah. admiring, you know, the wildlife and the field and the trees and the beautiful autumn colors. Yeah. They yeah. need you implanted on your fucking smartphone. Yeah. They won't yeah. need that smartphone. Or when you're at home, they need you, you know, encapsulated by the TV. Yeah. So they ain't switching that yeah. shit off. Yeah. I, Not I, even for an hour. I was, just, right. I, I was just, I was just, I was just, I could just hear these two old ladies talking about, oh, am I going to get some candles? They're going to have luck. You, know, you just regurgitating all this. this. They're not going to turn well, anything off, man. They're not going to turn anything off. It's just. I, I don't think any of it's going to happen. No, of course not. Of course not. This is, of course, I, I'm really beginning to believe. I was having this conversation with the missus uh, and um, it's quite interesting because I think as you become more, more open, more, more self-aware, you know, I've done, I've, I've talked to people like, like David Icke, um, and, you know, done podcasts and things. And, you know, if you're open-minded a little bit more and you, you raise your self-awareness, you start to think a little bit more about your environment mm -hmm. a little bit more and what, what this place is or what it could be. And part of that is just trying to get a bit more of an understanding of stuff and what it, what it really could be about. And I'm really beginning to think, the fear and these negative emotions or vibrations, again, as people like David Icke talk about it, like low yeah. vibrational energy. Yeah. Yeah. Is this shit being fed on? <clears throat> yeah. Like, like, you know, like we're, we're channeling energy all the time, you know, <clears throat> just because it's invisible. Think about how the internet yeah. actually works itself with things like yeah. Wi-Fi. We don't see it, but it's there. Yeah. You know, it's not not we we this, the, we only see a tiny percentage of of, of the light and and actually what reality is. Yeah. We have to be connected to something. You know, there's no wires on us. There's not like like the matrix of the wires sticking out when when he's actually in that 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 bed type thing. Mm -hmm. But we have to be connected to something in some way, and we're always putting out giving off energy you know you, you meet some people don't you and you think oh you know they're a decent person or you meet somebody and kind of within a very short period of time think mm, i'm not, not sure about that person you can't always describe it but it's like an energy thing isn't it 
Yeah. So we're giving off energy somehow. And I'm kind of, I really do think, particularly over the last few years, the amount of fear that they've wanted to instill in people in any way that they can. Yes. <clears throat> if you wanted to be less conspiratorial, you could just put it literal, literally down to the fact that fear is a controller. It's the ultimate control tool. Yeah. So put people in a state of fear and you easily control them. But then if you want to delve a little bit deeper than that, if you dare, <laughs> then it's then, then it it could very much be about energy. It could very much be about getting people to vibrate on a much lower vibrational energy and then that may be going out and and being fed on. Yeah. Like 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 the fucking bugs that they want us jumping down on like that negative energy is going somewhere and they're like, mm, nah, yeah. give me my negative energy. I'm, you know, fucking stripping it like a fucking rib, like, you know, pork rib. Like, mm, oh, give me my, give yeah. me my, you know, put, put, put that out in the media about blackouts. I need my fix, my negative fix, you know, and then you've got the old, the old fucking ladies in Asda. I'm going to get my candles. I am a little bit worried though. Asda. I must admit to you. Yes. Give me that worry. Give Give me more of that fucking worry. By the way, no, we're, we're, we're laughing, but I think it's is the truth. Like I says, you know, this is this this world is energy, vibrations, frequency. That's that's all it is, and certainly it's always been there. But certainly since the whole you know the virus thing came out, this be we went from one crisis or one fear factor to another. It's, they, they can't. It's just. Something is always something else. Monkey pox. Did you or... <laughs> did you enjoy that five minutes between it. the Rona and war? <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, that, I know. That, that five minutes was great. <laughs> Thanks very much. I really fucking enjoyed that one. Yeah. Managed to slip in a fucking ice cream like Biden. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I had a, had a little bit of ice cream over summer and then boom, fuck, you know, constant fuck. <laughs> worry again and then, but, and by the way by the way did you see how fast the war disappeared when queen elizabeth died uh, how quick say that again did you see how quick did you see how quick the war disappeared when queen elizabeth died yeah i did yeah yeah um well it, it, it there, there was a the sort of beginnings of the the, the rhetoric beginnings of the the um the war wasn't there so mm-hmm. it was it's been rona 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 then it was beginnings of the the war rhetoric and then it was the queen so it was like well you know pure domination in regards to to the queen rhetoric am i uh, it's frozen can you still yeah. hear me yeah yeah it keeps yeah i can still hear you fine but the, your image your image keeps freezing for some reason I've, I'll just pour the time when the conversation gets juicy on the YouTube live. It, it's yeah. scarily accurate yeah. how it like starts to freeze up. Yeah. Anyway, that's the that's you know, that's a conspiracy. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So there was all this rhetoric, wasn't there, about Rona? Everything was Rona. Yeah. Then, um, then it came out five minutes later. The the the, the war. Yeah. Then that was the sort of beginnings of it, and then it was the Queen. Um, so then war. Uh, it was, I suppose it was a little bit like the flu. Yeah, you know, f- flu flu decided to go on its holes, and it, it's, it's like I, I'm off on holiday now. Rona's it, <laughs> uh, and flu went off. Right, went on the break. It's back. Last come back as well, isn't it? The, uh, Florona, uh, I don't, twin, I don't think twindemic, very twindemic, well. twindemic. F- florona as a term clearly <laughs> from a pr standpoint didn't work so they were like florona is not working but twindemic yes yeah that's 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 the one twindemic twindemic so the flu's back now isn't it so it's a twindemic now right jab jab ola in each arm now <laughs> cha, 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 cha. right um double trouble so flu's back so then the queen yeah the queen, happened with the queen uh, so the floor, so, so 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 the war took a, a break, a little bit like the the flu. The war said, "Hang on a minute, hey, sign of respect, yeah, <laughs> you see what's happening here, yeah." To to one of our great leaders, you know, see what's happening here. A bit of sign of respect, you know. Let's 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 put our let's put our differences aside just for a week or two. 
um and 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 they did that and um and then the, the as soon as the queen was pretty much done in the media bang bang you you back with you back with how many billions are being transferred to ukraine <laughs> happy days but by the way by the way what oh, what is it about what Obviously, it's Stock, Stockholm syndrome for me, anyway. But what is it about? Why do the British people like to be enslaved? Why do they like to? I, I fell out with a close friend of mine because she went in a, here in Edinburgh. She and I thought she was open minded, but she went and queued for hours to see an empty coffin or to, to see a coffin. And I was like, why? Why are you upset about somebody who you've never met, somebody who's never done anything for you, some billionaire who's an evil, <laughs> satanic pedophile lover? Why? Why are you waving your flag and being so? Uh, I just don't get it. Why? Why? Why are you being so selfish, James? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> why? 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 Why would you even? Why would you even dare question something like that? How dare you be so selfish of somebody who served, who never served. asked for anything, served, S- served, gave gave their entire life to serve you, and, and never. Never asked for anything in return, and and did it so selflessly, and you know, had they they literally, oh, look, look, it's 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 pretty simple, isn't it? It's um, it's easier, isn't it? So it's actually harder to have that viewpoint that you've got and I've got. It's it's so much more difficult because I don't know what the stats are. If we go uh, from from a book surrounded by morons, if we just use that as an example, you could say maybe sort of eight out of ten people um, are in support of this type of stuff. Pretty much anything that the news puts out, yeah. they're, they're in support of it. Yeah. Is is my internet still a bit shit? Yeah, it's keep it's keep it's keep freezing. I may pause it again. What? Where will we? It, it it's harder to think like you and 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 me. It's harder. So it's it's harder to um, question it. It's harder to go against the narrative. It's easier just to go with it. Um, so. I don't know what the specific stats are, but if me book is anything to go by surrounded by morons, let's say eight out of 10 people are believing what the news says. And it's just so much easier just to go with that. And what's mm. the news saying? Of course, the news is part of the establishment. So clearly what they're saying is, is that, you know, the queen is to be adored, you know, without question, because she literally dedicated her entire life to you, you selfish git for even thinking anything about by, what, why by, she sits on the golden throne and gets anything that she yeah, ever wanted. By, at any point she at served her country by traveling the world for 70 years and having a million parties wearing diamonds and gold and dripped and everything and, and, sh- and open a thousand things in her name and shaking peasants' hands. That's, oh, oh well. That's serving, I guess. That's dedication, I guess. Sitting behind, sitting behind Dedic- her, sitting behind her golden piano at Christmas, telling us how the last two years have been so hard, and if we stick together, we'll get, to, we'll get through it. Wow. I, I understand what you're going through. <laughs> uh, as I eat my premium steak and prawns, um, and literally. In a click of a f- actually <coughs> really fucks in my throat. I'll stop doing that. By the way, that was that was that was scary. I could have closed my eyes there. That that could have I could have been in the room with her there. That was weird. Um, do you know I'm 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 working on my impressions. I'm working on my impressions, and um, I've not practiced the Queen, but even even myself, I was actually like that was actually pretty fucking good. Wow. So we'll, we'll, I may, I'm gonna just, I will James. I'm gonna start to do more Queen impressions. Right, that that was pretty fucking good. I was impressed. She's 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 chomping down on steaks, chomping down on premium prawns. She's clicking her fingers, getting pretty much anything that she ever wanted at any time of day because they've got X amount of people that are literally there to jump when they ask how high 
when they stay and they ask how high they've literally got a queue of people um uh, and now it's charlie isn't it they've got a, a queue of people but the media says she's dedicated her entire life sacrificed sacrificed her entire life sacrificed yeah to you know be 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 in a situation where like she obviously didn't want to 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 be doing that she didn't she didn't want to be clicking her fingers and being told what to do and and uh, 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 uh and jet setting the globe like you say and pretty much go just literally being ha- waited on hand and foot and being able to go wherever she wanted at any time, eat the most delicious foods, drink the most expensive drink. She didn't want to be doing any of that. So it's easier just to go with the media. Yeah. And then when these people can virtue signal off the back of that too, when, when they get the brownie points from saying that, you know, as they're queuing, they're like, I'm in the queue and I'm really sad. And, and I feel really depressed at the moment. You got all these other people doing exactly the same things as well. It's just easier, isn't it? And um, I mean, I mean, queuing, standing in a queue for 14 hours, that's not easy, right? <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> 14 I hours. think that I, 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 I do, though. I think that that is kind of the point, though, isn't it? It's yeah. like. Oh, There's virtue signal, sta- isn't it? It is. It's like. You know, stand in the queue for nearly an entire day, and they they'll do it. And the 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 crazy thing about this sort of stuff is that they they, they won't they wouldn't like do a quick favor for a mate, <laughs> like <laughs> like because they can't post online about that. Yeah, you know they can't yeah. they can't they can't virtue signal about you know popping down the shop for a neighbor. You know they won't they won't yeah. do that. They're like oh, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that shit. But queuing for fourteen hours for a person that really probably couldn't give, I say probably definitely couldn't definitely. give a fucking shiny shiny shizer about who they are, what they are, what it's all about. Uh, yeah, no, no. It's like what can I virtue signal off the back of? Yeah. What can I get brownie points on? Yeah. on? And um, it's harder. It's harder to think and and uh, and react like you. Yeah. Yeah, and again, of course, we're laughing about it, but it just, you know, you, you look at the state of this country, there's food banks closing down because they can't cope, and you've got this, and I used to be really inter, interested in history and, the, the, you know, this, this island and, and all the medieval castles and kings and queens and all that stuff, but it's so, it's so not relevant anymore, and it just, the idea of having this family who lord it over us simply because they were deemed to be born into a better family and they sit there with all these gold and palaces and castles and stately homes and diamonds that they've stole from all these different countries in the Commonwealth or whatever. And and there's people, there's children, children living and dying in abject poverty in this country. And I just don't, I don't, I don't get anyone supporting that when, these, when, when there are children dying in this country of starvation. It's just, I, I just find it insane, to be fair. <laughs> It is. It's nothing short of insane, James. And and for me, I won't have. I won't be convinced any other way. When there's a person who is literally, you know, has all this estate, has all this gold, has all pretty much everything that they could ever dream of, and vastly more, sitting there at, at golden on golden thrones or near golden pianos, saying how they understand how the everyday person thinks and feels now yeah. you know I've been, I've been that kid who you know who, who struggled you know council estate uh working class uh, at times where you know you're hungry and there's there's limited food and stuff like that you're never going to convince me you know it, it's nothing short of insane and you say there was relevance previously with things like castles and stuff yeah like. probably not but yeah, I don't. I don't think there's. I don't think there's ever been a relevance, uh, yeah. ever. Yeah. What what it's what it's always been. We, what all it is now is we're just seeing a modern version. And 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 they. But but what I get from it, and this is you know potentially a positive as well, is that they have to have everything that the media can offer, 
to to keep it to keep it in place. Mm -hmm. So the media has to put out so much PR and so much bullshit, like sycophantic bollocks, yeah, to keep it in place. That it's now having to be like that on steroids, even more than it's ever been because of yeah. all the other stuff that's taken place, all the corruption and yeah. and all the other crap that's taken place with the family. The, the, the media has to be so sycophantic that now to a level that maybe people will start being a little bit more like, you know, you know either like I think what what people are more likely to do is be like, oh, you know, I'm 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 not bothered about these people. You know, rather yeah. than having any sort of opinion, they'll be like, oh, whatever. You're always going to have this category of person. It's a little bit like the Kardashians. The way the media pimps these people out is like they're celebrities. Yeah. And people love that, you know, because yeah. it's a, a distraction and a deflection on their own lives. You know, who can who can we focus on today? You know, Kim's ass. Um, what's Charlie doing? What, yeah what what's harry and megan doing you know it's a distraction on their own bullshit or you know trying yeah. to avoid a gas bill or something right yeah so there's always going to be an element of that but it's never been relevant all it's ever been is going back to all that time i wrote a little bit about this actually is quite relevant in in the book it simply was if we really think about it it simply was and i, I really believe it, this is how simple it gets Let's say there were five schoolboys. Let's just say schoolboys, right? And, and, and they all had chores to do. Mm -hmm. But one of the schoolboys had a, a little bit more money than the others. Like it, it, his dad was a, a good business person, good, good entrepreneur in the area and, and made some money and he was teaching his son some good things, right? Mm -hmm. So he had a little bit more money than the other boys. So what he said to the other boys is, Come and do my chores, uh, and I'll I'll pay you some money to do it. Or come and help me with my chores, and I'll I'll pay I'll pay you some money to come and help me. And they're like, oh, okay. In their minds, they're thinking, yeah, okay, we can earn some money. It's like having a bit of a job. And you know, they in the end, they ended up actually doing the chores for this boy entirely. He was mm -hmm. giving them money. They were happy because they were taking the money and doing the chores. And then it was that type of system whether it's feudalism, neo-feudalism as it is now, mm -hmm. that type of system that has just evolved. Yeah. And this is where the royalty is coming because all it is, is just a family that has more knowledge than another family. Yeah. It's a family that has more resources and money and knowledge yeah. than, than another family. Yeah. And then an acceptance, a collective acceptance from other families and other people to be like, yeah, do you know, as long as you're paying me, you know, happy days. As long as I'm getting a, a bit of money, happy days. And they're like, yeah, we'll give you the money. In return, you, you give me unlimited respect and power. How's yeah. that? Yeah, yeah why? Well, fucking marvelous. And that, that's that. that, that this, yeah. this is simply why we are where we are. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'm just referring to my nostalgic remembrance of indoctrination, probably of what I've been. Obviously, history is just what I've been told, isn't it? So, and you watch all these movies and TV programs, as you know, and it's all programming. So, yeah, it's you're right. It's never it's never been relevant, has it? But just just break it down simply. I mean, history in itself is is an absolute crock. Yeah. especially what we've yeah. been taught and it's only going to get yeah. worse as well because now what they uh, uh, are able to do very quickly is is wipe stuff off the record yeah so if they're able to do that now what about when there were no records what yeah. about you know we're literally dependent on so on on so many other external factors um when it comes to what history really was yeah. and if you actually sit down and really think about it it wouldn't actually have to go back that far for anything preceding that to have been an absolute crock of shit entirely yeah you know yeah. as in like to be something that is like completely different yeah to, to what yeah. they they're, they're saying that it that it was um 
you know, you, when you think about it like that, it, it raises I've, a lot of questions. Yeah, I mean, it only it doesn't. You know, I think it probably takes less than one generation to forget forget things, right? Have you ever looked into the? Have you ever looked at the stuff about Stonehenge, and, and seen images of them building it with cranes and stuff? Have you ever looked at? You ever <laughs> <No>. seen, <laughs> Yeah, have you ever seen that before? No, but as you can tell from my reaction, <laughs> a little bit like the meteor being hit. Yeah, it, it's it's like you, you literally you know, can't. I wouldn't you, discount it. Yeah, you literally can't believe. It, it's a sad place to be when you get to the point where. Because I used to be really interested in history, but when you get to the point where you're just yeah skeptic about literally everything that they've to, ever told you about history and how we've got to this point, it's. It's it's insane. Obviously, I realise we've got limited time. Um, so before before we get to the towards the end, it was just I wanted to talk about um, the whole thing about obviously Pfizer had released information. I saw it was like a um, and it was it in the European Parliament and I was I think it was a Dutch Dutch MEP and um, they were talking to a Pfizer CEO and this is where they obviously admitted that at the time of putting it out there in the market that they hadn't even tested it for transmission or to stop transmission. But yet that was, that was the, <laughs> that was the whole reason for us all that we were all told by governments and medical officials to take it. And, and obviously lots of people lost their job. Care, care workers, thousands of them lost their job because they wouldn't take it. So can I, what's your thoughts on that? And, why are we not surprised that it's not being really any, like covered at all in the mainstream? Say, <laughs> James, say, safe and effective, my friend. Huh? <laughs> so, so, yeah. Safe and effective. Like, hang on, let's ask, let's ask Fauci. Fauci, yeah. safe and effective, right? Hang on. I'm not going to do the voice again because no. I was uh, just doing the Queen fuck, yeah. fuck my fuck my throat up, but. Yeah. Uh, I'll 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 just I'll just check I'll just check my bank balance. Hang on, yeah, super fucking safe and effective. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, like what what why 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 not covered in the mainstream media? Um, because they might be sponsored by Pfizer. <laughs> <laughs> that that might that that might be a. A, a reason perhaps and they are literally just the pr arm of of these companies yeah um at this stage it, it, for me it, it's very much on the lines of trying to have a conversation about politics mm -hmm. we're talking about something in itself the 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 the, the illness that for me already has a lot of question marks or certainly should have. Yeah. So we're now talking about something that has already got a lot of question marks. So now to be asked to have a conversation around something that was meant to cure said thing and then have an, a, a, an interesting conversation about how safe and effective it is or whether it did this or whether it did that or whether we were told this or whether we were told that i don't know i'm, I'm sure i resonate with with lots of people when i say it's it's so cliche now that it's become a bit of an embarrassment mm -hmm. it's so cliche in regards to very early on I think you either saw things coming or you didn't. And now question marks over the fact that they didn't even test or didn't do this or didn't do that for this transmission or that is now for, for many people, including myself, just part of the joke. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it, and it's so, it's so like, you know, when I, when I heard it, it was so like, I was like, yeah, you know, it's it's just it's too, it's just so expected because it's we're we're looking at something that has already got so many question marks about it that mm -hmm. for me to start to question these things now it means that you're already ten steps behind where you should be anyway. Yeah, for me it was always you know a very early on process to think. Hang on a minute. What about this question? What about that? What about this? Mm -hmm. And if you weren't picking up on it then, 
I can now understand why you might be questioning certain things around what's coming out now. For me, it's... Uh, uh, it's not even uh, I'm not even interested in things like I told you so and things like that. I'm not interested in it. It for me, I, I try and find the funny side of of most things. Yeah, uh, and 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 this is just fucking hilarious. Yeah, you, you yeah, it is. It's, I think you're completely right when you say this is just part of it. And it, I think I naively thought it, it, at first when I heard it. I, that this would be the, the 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 big eureka moment where people are like, that's it, it's the, they've admitted it. It's but just nothing, just absolutely nothing. It's just went under the no. radar. Nobody cares. Do you know what? I, I I tweeted this actually. You reminded me of something. What did I tweet? It was it was like, oh, that was it. You can present hard facts and figures and science if you like mm -hmm. but none of it will make a difference to a cult no that, you know that that's the, the yeah. that's what you're dealing with yeah yeah if if you if you've done any homework or studies on how cults work uh, and some of the more significant ones in history including drinking the Kool-Aid and stuff like that if you ever had any questions or question marks about how they managed to do what they did. The last few years should have answered all that for you. And to now be thinking that this big Eureka moment is going to start to come out. That's naive. Why? Because yeah. not only are you dealing with a cult, you're also dealing with people who now have pride and egos. Yeah. They're invested. And right? they, they're, the they're last invested. thing that they yeah. want to yeah. do is be put in a spot where you know they might be proven wrong or 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 be viewed to have made a mistake you now have a lot of people like that yeah. and to think that a big eureka thing is going to come out is i think that's that 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 would be naive to think like yeah that. do you honestly think that that people will be held accountable for any of this the media these medical professionals, these TV doctors, everyone who's pushed these things, no, no, no. I've always, I've always thought that they won't. Um, and and the reason for that, I think, is because the institutions that 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 run this show, mm -hmm. just it's never going to happen. And um, I, I remember having a similar conversation with you previously as well about about this. You asked something similar, and I think I gave a similar answer as well. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen because it, the game's rigged too hard. Yeah. And if anything like that was ever going to happen, then we're talking about such a monumental shift. Mm -hmm. in society i mean i think you're talking about pretty much a full-blown revolution yeah for 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 that for anything like that to take place we're talking about a complete flipping of the board yeah yeah not 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 just changing the pieces and changing the game we're talking yeah. about an entire flip yeah uh, if if anything like what you just said is is ever going to come about, but is, um, but has that ever happened? And, it, uh, has that ever happened in w w in history before? Such a big, such a big change. It has though, right? No, or is it just? Uh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Because because like we've said earlier, what 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 history do you believe? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm sure if you own the game then you also own the information through yeah. the educational institutions yeah. that people learn. Yeah. And what would you want to teach them? I think part of what you'd want to teach them because of the curiosity that we've got as humans and, and, and hope is one of these fundamental parts that, that we've got as part of our psyche. You need to feed that. You can't, you can't suppress that. 
So what might you want to teach people? You might want to teach them that, hey, look at this hope over here. Stuff, things can happen. Yeah. Things can happen. And, and, and things have happened in history. Nuremberg and, you know, all this sort of stuff has happened. It's happened. But if you own the game and you've rigged it hard, then if you're covering yourself, then you're also covering the hope. If, you, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's, well, it's, yeah. And I think the, the, I did ask you, I did ask you this question last time. I'm going to ask you again, because my, you know, the bigger picture for me was, you know, because this is, strikes me as being, it's just so genius and so evil. This whole, the way things are, are set against us, this matrix, these, you know, these huge corporations, BlackRock, Vanguard, these clandestine people that are, you know, we know we know that politicians are just puppets run by millionaire puppets run by billionaire God knows who these social elites, whoever they are, and like we were speaking about before, it, we are like human batteries. I feel that, you know, we joked about it, but I do genuinely feel that they are feeding off our fear, our hurt, our pain, our anger, our jealousy. This, you know, can in the end, good, good triumph over evil? Will it? Will we ever be free of this? Can we? Can we win? I think this this is a fundamental question. A little bit like what what is it you believe death is? Um, and and I think that the the answer, just like if you're asked the question, what what do you think happens when you die? The answer to the question that you're asking is the same because I think that it's subjective. Okay. It's whatever you want to believe. So for example, if someone says to you, when, the, when you die, that's it. Game over. Yeah. Body buried job done. Then you've got more religious connotations, dependent on what faith you may be. You've got a vast other beliefs, things like reincarnation. Depending on what you believe, like the Vikings, they believed in Valhalla. You know, they believed that if they died a fearless death, that they were going to go and meet their gods and all their loved ones in Valhalla. That's what they believed. Who was anybody to come along and say to them, oh, you're wrong. You're wrong. You, you're, you're totally wrong about that. You're totally wrong. Because you don't, no one knows. No, yeah. nobody can nobody can fundamentally come to you and say you're wrong and and be definitely sure about that yeah. they can think that they are yeah but they can't they can't be definite about it because mm -hmm. they just can't nobody's got the answer even if somebody came along and said i've definitely got the answer i know what death is now yay people are still going to know that that it's still not definite can't be yeah you can pr yeah. pr pr you can provide evidence. You can do this. You can do that. But there's still no definitive. I think the question you're asking is the same, uh, and it's the, it's the same type of, of of construct, if you like. In the what is it that you believe? Do you believe the good can? What, however, you want to, because again, this is all built in the belief. What what yeah. does good even mean? What what yeah. is good? What is bad? Yeah. What does what does good triumph in bad actually mean? What does it look like? What is it? Yeah. Because if you can start to answer them questions for yourself, then who is anybody else to challenge you on that? Hmm. Because fundamentally, no one no one knows. No one knows. I can have my viewpoint on what death is. I can have my viewpoint on whether good is going to triumph over evil. Mm -hmm. And yet all along that journey, it's always going to be subjective. I think when people ask questions like that, the real meaning behind it is based on uh, similar reasons as to why somebody might go and visit a clairvoyant. They, they want some security back because they feel yeah. so out of control. Yeah, it's yeah. like there's so much shit been thrown and hit the fan that I need I need a bit of security back in my life. Yeah. How am I going to get that? Well, let's ask for let's ask for opinions. Let's ask questions like that. 
because it's nice to hear somebody else say, hang on a minute, yeah, good's definitely going to triumph over evil. Yeah, yeah. It just so happens in regards to how I answer that, it, it, it's, it's subjective. It's yeah. subjective. No. And, and it really yeah. will always come down to the, the core belief of what the individual, the sovereign individual believes, because who is anybody else to come along and tell them any different and maybe even more important than that mm. maybe even more important than your question is the actual way you go about stuff and actually take action and live your life yeah because fundamentally if you do want good to triumph evil however you envisage that and whatever you think it means then why not start living your life more towards that yourself yeah no, yeah, I had the same conversation with a very close friend of mine, and she was kind of very vocal online, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like like I am. But she's recently took just took a, a complete step backwards. She's focusing on her family, not using her phone anywhere near enough. She's growing food in her back garden. She's just living her life, and she 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 was she's she was sent me a message saying she she respects what I try to do, but. Who am I doing it for? Because in reality, we're not even. It's, it feels like just like an echo chamber now, and I'm not. Re, who am I even waking up? Is what's the point of all this? Am I just absorbing more negativity? Why don't I just forget all this? Just give it all up and just go live my life and just do me. But I, I don't know. There's something that something inside. Do you know what? Me... Do you know what? Um, I, I'm not not not. I don't, I'm not, I don't follow a religion. I'm, I'm not a, a religious person. I, I get, I get why people are, I get the power of faith. I get the power of belief. I, I get why people follow religions hundred percent. Yeah. Um, and even though I'm not religious, I came across a, a quote the other day with, that I thought was just incredibly powerful based on um, what it is that you're saying. It went a little bit like people are going to very quickly forget you when you die. So maybe the purpose of living was not to live for the people, but to live for God. I, I like that. Yeah. I, I like I said to you, I, I'm I I'm not, I like that. I'm I'm not a religious person, but I tell you what, I I like that. I like that. I got it. I yeah. got it. It's no, it, I do. It, it's profound because it's like. Do you, do you know what? I I totally understand where your friend is coming from. A hundred percent. I mean, believe me, you know, I've thought about it many occasions, like, you know, how they want us living and connected to technology and just connected with the fear and yeah. Yeah. living under the, the construct and the matrix and people who have been able to break away from that, even just a bit more, come away from the phone, grow yeah. their own. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I envy a lot of that. I envy yeah. a lot of it. But for me, you know, uh, the, the quote that I just said there, um, even not being religious, I think it's, it's a powerful yeah. message. Because yeah. what is the message? The message is stop doing things for, for what you think, you know, other people think you should be doing or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how you should be living your life. You're going to be forgotten pretty quickly when you're dead. So what is your actual purpose? What is your yeah. actual goal? Who is it that you should be serving? And whether you're religious or not, whether you pinpoint that, whether you focus on, on, on God and whichever God you believe in, or whether that you mean for yourself. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. The, the other question is, of course, James, is, you know, are you just following fate? You know, again, this brings up a whole entire yeah. round, but yeah. Are you just you because you're following a story? Are you just you because you're following fate? Um, or is there more free will? Yeah, this is this is another, another yeah. question that is brought about by what you're saying. But there is a fundamental core to it all. Yeah. And I find if you're lucky enough to continue to discover it even more, it, it means that you are living your purpose. And, and, and the core to it is, are you being true to yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Cool.
Well, I feel yeah, like if that. you can if 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 you can answer that, you know, if 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 you think you know you're being true to yourself, then then I, I believe that's that's a strong path of purpose, and it leads you in directions where you feel more centered and, and, and more part of yeah. your core. Yeah. It, the the reason many people are so distorted is because so many people are not living true to themselves that they're, they're living based on what other people want yeah. the materialism the cars the houses the clothes how they should think what they should do the online presence the materialism the narcissism the celebrity culture so many people are living like that that they're never getting close yeah to what things really mean and that, that that's sad but if you can get a bit closer to that then i yeah. i, I personally i personally think that's the path yeah, and I think that's a very, very, very uh, profound way to end end the end this episode, my friend. That's very uh, that will definitely leave me with something to think about after this conversation is finished. So, yeah, that's that's us over the hour mark there. So, as always, it's an absolute pleasure, my friend. I could talk to you for absolute hours. You just yeah, just so funny and um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, obviously. And uh, thanks again. Thanks very much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Appreciate it. As I said, look, I can do profound all day. So it's all, it's all good. It's all yeah. good. But no, pre- appreciate it. Yeah. Th- like I say, we had, uh, yeah, like I say, you find it very easy to make me laugh. So that's good. But then to end in such a profound way, awesome. Awesome. I hope I didn't depress anybody in, <laughs> towards the end of it. But yeah. Um, Fuck them. Aye, exactly. That's the way I see it. But yeah, yeah, guys, thanks. Thanks very much, Carl. Thanks for everybody for watching. And like again, don't forget if you like the content, press that subscribe button and never miss an episode. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Love Project. See ya. Bye.